I'm Alex Allen reporting from Jay's home base in Buffalo, New York. Jay has made it through five of the ten states of the Trans Am route and has biked over 2,200 miles. This means that Jay is officially at the halfway point. As we discussed on Saturday, Kansas poses some challenges for Jay. While the land is flat, it is very, very hot and the headwinds are strong. Kansas has also become infamous for their bad and distracted driving that have caused problems for other Trans Am racers. Jay has a couple of things to say on this topic. Let's hear from him. Okay, race day recap. Uh, went from Eads, Colorado. Hope, hopefully that comes in. All the way to, uh, where am I right now? Scott City. This is very familiar country for me. Um, I used to bird hunt all down through here. Today was um, somewhat of a sad day. This is a very treacherous piece of highway down here, historically speaking. Last year we lost a rider uh, in the Transamerica bike race 2017, Eric Fishman. So I rode today's course in memory of him. In the same place that we lost Eric, very, very close, another racer this year was hit. We've got two racers in the hospital right now. Um, the one racer looks like he's going to be paralyzed. The, the highway is treacherous for a few reasons. The biggest one is it's super long straight stretch, so I think drivers get in a ton of I had a very good day. I felt very good. I've been sleeping pretty good. I feel like my strength is coming back. And the big worry was, he has forecasted this big storm um, with a lot of vertical potential, which means hail and, and tornado possibilities. So I laid out my my uh, race itinerary just with that in mind. I had to go 57 miles to the first safe spot. When I left this morning, I was, you know, I wanted to be very confident, and I was, that I could make that first 57 miles uh, without any, you know, weather complications. And at that point, the the gaps between towns were gaps that I could, you know judge, you know, take a look at the weather and judge to see if I could make the next gap. You know, I rolled a full day. I, I think I finished up around six or something. So I felt really good about my day. Uh, hopefully I'll get a good night's sleep tonight. I'm going to push on through Kansas. Of course, when it's not raining, it's hot here. Uh, a lot of, a lot of uh, side winds. <laughs> Last thing I want to say, uh, for, for those of you that are new to my videos and didn't hear like the first one, um, I only have like one uh, set of clothes. If you think you're, you know, God, why does he have the same thing on all the time? <laughs> That's why. Um, as, going as light as I possibly can. All right, have a Thank great night. for watching today. Please remember to like, share, and subscribe to our daily videos so you never miss an update. This week is the last week to enter into our t-shirt contest, so head on over our, to our Facebook to enter. Finally, don't forget why Jay is taking part in this amazing adventure. We're raising money for the American Widow Project. Please visit our CrowdRise campaign and give to our cause today. Thank you and have a great day.